Boom! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Mount Bullcraft Summit 81 Hacking Strokes in After Effects Edition 2 because this video is an edit because the first video I put up had terrible information that was going to waste your processor and just really slow and stupid. So I wanted to take that video down so you don't get bad information and put up information from other people that is way, way better. So I want to give them all credit because they're all awesome. Basically, uh, this video was uploaded about three days ago and uh, every comment was a better suggestion than what I put up. So I, I wanted to make sure my information wasn't up anymore. Um, but all these people were awesome. Um, and I wanted to show you uh, what some of the really awesome tips were and then actually show you why one of them doesn't work and why I think one of them is a little bit better. But uh, anyway, the issue we're dealing with is if you draw a shape in After Effects uh, and maybe you wanted to animate the scale, uh, it doesn't always work on the stroke on the outside. So what you can do is this guy suggests here, this uh, Mad Manulez, and uh, he put up that you know, here's the same issue. You can just go ahead and instead of doing this stupid process that I was talking about yesterday, he said you can just drag your stroke and put it into your contents. And uh, then when you animate your your shape, uh, it's way, way easier and uh, it looks great. So that was a really great solution and way faster and easier than what I put up yesterday. So uh, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So you just grab your stroke and you put it into your contents. And then when you go and then you'd have to go down into your stroke if you want it to still be above and change it to above previous and same group, just like that if you wanted the same look. Um, but then when you animate your, your scale, um, it looks pretty good, at least when you animate your scale on the uh, polystar path. So the issue is, at least for me personally, I like to animate quite a bit with just the regular scale basically just because I'm lazy and I like pressing S for the shortcut and just having it right like that. So uh, what happens is the strokes don't like respect the this, I guess I'm gonna call it like a global scale for the layer. And as you can see, they're getting deformed even though we did that little trick that uh, Mad Manulas suggested uh, that was uh, really, really smart. So wherever he is, shout out to him. That's an awesome suggestion. So uh, basically a lot of people both on Twitter and YouTube were just like, hey, why don't you just do uh, at a layer style in, with a stroke. Um, and so that's a, that's a really great solution. I think that's actually a better solution uh, than this. It's going to be a little bit slower on your RAM, um, but at least it'll respect your scale and also any of your nested shapes you have on your layer. So I like that solution. So let's go ahead and draw our little shape here and just turn off the stroke on the outside. And then we're going to right click and add a layer style. So layer style, and I was going through this stupid process with outer glow, but it, it basically is a huge waste and doesn't look good. So we wanna add the stroke effect just like this. And if you toggle into your stroke effect, we can turn up our size and then uh, turn up, or uh, not turn up, but we can, we can pick our color. And there we go, we have a very similar effect. Um, but the nice thing about this is now you can animate with uh, anything and, and the layer is going to always have that nice stroke on the outside that doesn't get deformed if you're just going to animate real fast and dirty on the scale like that. So uh, that's the trick I really like. And the only thing I got kind of quote unquote right in the last video was uh, making this a little bit easier to work with. So you can add a null object to the scene, um, add a color control and a slider control and what we're going to do is just lock this effect window, go over to the stroke that we just added here, and uh, option click the size and drag over to our slider, and then option click the color and drag this over to our color control. So what's nice about that is I have this kind of global control then for uh, this little stroke rig, and so if I ever wanted to draw another shape in this project, which is looking great by the way, I can just go and copy this layer style and paste it onto my new one. And then I, then I have like this nice little global control for that. So uh, yeah, if you want to animate just on the scale and be really dirty like this and have your stroke on the outside look look proper and, and good and all that, uh, yeah, I recommend doing that style. So once again, thanks for checking out Mount MoGraph. I'm sorry that last video just had such bad information. And once again, shout out to these people for these great ideas that were way, way better than mine. And this is just proof there's always something better out there. Uh, so yeah, don't take my word for it. Um, anyway, this was Matt from Mount MoGraph. Thanks again. Uh, peace. Thank you.